hello guys this is pawan from ambidotronics so today i am going to tell you about how we can interface dot matrix led display to atmega 16 microcontroller just let's get started so first we will go to file and new and we will go to project and then we will choose gcc executable project and here i am going to make one project name let's say dot matrix and we will just click on ok uh, ok so the same name is already there so we will give another name dot matrix display uh, click on ok and here we will choose the right controller as I am using atmega family controller so we will just scroll down and we will select atmega 16 and here we will click on ok so here uh, it's Atmel Studio is just creating uh, a pro out project. So here we go. As we can see, it's created now. Now uh, this uh, small snippet already generated by this uh, software tool. Now I have already written. I have written already the code. So I'll just copy that code. So here we go. So this is the thing FCP we have taken 8 megahertz and uh, we have defined that header file a necessary header file avri.h and here the delay for delay uh, giving delay this delay header file is there and one variable we have declared now in the main part you can see ddra 0 xff uh, for any pin as I have told you for any pin if you want to make it, make it as an output so we need to declare one for that and same way for port B, we, uh, we, we are declaring one one because these two port, port A and port B, we are we have, we are going to use. So that's why FFFF, we are setting these B and D, uh, sorry, this would be A in common part and this would be B, this will be A and B, port A and B, we are making as an output. And in the while part, here you can see one small for loop I have uh, taken but later we will use this first we will just print one character in our dot matrix display and uh, i have chosen one character that is character a uh, so for correct for printing character a what we need to do uh, first i will show you the, show you the proteus simulation part as uh, we are not using hardware we are using in uh, this in our proteus simulation but same thing you can execute in your uh, in your hardware that will definitely work because anyhow that dot matrix display you need to connect each um, it's like those jumper wire through jumper wires you have to connect to from port b to the upper uh, pins of the uh, dot matrix display and that's port d to the lower uh, pins of that dot matrix display just like here you can see in the simulation part we have uh, this uh, taken this uh, upper pins to this port B and this lower pins to this port D pins to uh, port D to connect it to here now this is the thing this is at mega 16 this is our dot matrix display now if I just go to my code so here you can see first we have written port B equals to complement of 0 x 0 1 it means we are giving 1 1 1 1 1 1 it means this is like that 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 zero so it means we are enabling uh, means like this is common cathode display so we need to give zero to just make uh, that uh, segment uh, get power and other will be one uh, so uh, in this way uh, that uh, first row will get crowned and then for port d by writing 0 x 0 4 left shift i i initially zero so 0 x 0 4 it means this is nothing nothing but this is 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 so if I will say here so like this 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 so it means first this uh, thing will this LED will glow and the second case here uh, this 0 x 0 2 uh, it means nothing but this is like this uh, 1 1 1 1 1 1 0 1 so 
so this is 0x02 complement is of 0x02 same way other things are like that 0x04 then 0x08 then 0x because we are just uh, giving ground to uh, one particular uh, row of that thing and then uh, at the same time we are just uh, uh, glowing uh, it's like giving one to those dot matrix led where we have to light up those um, dot dot matrix like for in case of a we need to light up this dot matrix and this and this so second case in our logic it is like that you can see here we have given 0x uh, as uh, this is uh, 0x02 okay fine and then 0x0 a left shift i i is 0 initially so this is this is 0 0 0 0 uh, a is nothing but a means 10 so 1 0 1 0 so this is 8 plus 2 10 it means a so 1 0 1 0 so here you can see 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 yeah correct so this is like a you will get here this way so the same way uh, another case it will be 0x04 and then 0x11 left shift i same way these uh, logics will be created uh, this is 0x11 left shift i it means this is nothing but uh, you will say this is 0001 0001 so this is 0x11 so 0001 0001 so here you can see this third row 0001 then 0001 so this way you will get this a uh, means like upper portion of this a you will get like that and uh, same way other things will work so this is very simple logic as we are first just uh, giving ground to the rows and then uh, at the same time we are just uh, giving one to those uh, dot matrix LEDs where we knew, where we want to light up those uh, matrix this means like LED dot so this way things are working and delay all it uh, a little delay we need to give so that at this uh, because human precision uh, means like uh, persistence vision is there like that that we uh, actually things are working in a different time and LED dots are uh, glowing at different times but delays so less so that we will see all the all the leds are dot matrix leds are glowing at the same time so that's why this much of uh, this much of less delay we are giving and uh, so okay we'll just first build this thing i hope you understand now we'll build the solution and uh, we are not getting any uh, error warning as fcp also we have defined now i'll go to the Proteus simulation part and we will give anyhow we have given this internal RC of 8 megahertz and in the browsing part we will select this dot matrix display dot matrix display debug and this hex now we will click on this ok and here we go we will just run this Okay, let's just remove that last delay part also we need to make uh, let's make it zero only now build now we'll see so here you can see this a is coming even though that last delay uh, we can make it something like uh, the same let's give it one for whole uh, character printing so that delay will be equal now again we will just uh, run this thing and here you can see this character a we can easily see this character a we are printing here now if i just uh, scroll if i want to scroll this a so what i will do i will just go to this and uh, i'll make one for loop and uh, i'll give till 8 on uh, this thing and uh, we'll give some high delay here so that after scrolling completion it will just 
uh, get some large delay so let's build it and uh, if I just run it so here you can see we are getting the scrolling so this way you can connect uh, multiple uh, dot matrix display so we will just cover up that part also where we will just uh, do some multiplexing kind of thing with uh, uh, this dot matrix display means uh, by using less ports we can just do this uh, interfacing and all here we are using two ports for one segment so we can connect one more segment and we can show that character uh, is going to scroll on that but that another dot matrix display as well so i hope you like this video if you have any doubt regarding this just feel free to comment us below and, and uh, if you are really getting something please like this video and please don't forget to subscribe our channel thank you guys thank you very much